New tonight, 11 crews on the scene of a crash after a semi hits a bridge. Now this is happening in the area of Central and West Warren on Detroit's west side. Tim Pamplin is on the scene with a night cam. Tim. After a little dismantling and a little nudge from a 10-ton wrecker, the crane finally gave way. Let's tell you how we got here. The driver, out of state, he didn't want to go on camera, said he just wasn't aware that his load wasn't going to get under the bridge here along Warren Avenue near Lonyo. Well, he found out soon enough, crushing the flatbed of his truck and spilling hydraulic fluid all along Warren Avenue. Hazmat crews have been out as of cleanup crews from the evening into the nighttime, first freeing the trapped load and then getting that crippled truck on a flatbed of its own. So as you come back out to us now, they've got the uh, crippled flatbed up in the air. That's been bent in half as it hit the bridge. We've got another flatbed coming underneath now, lower it onto that one. As for the bridge, well, the bridge is in fine shape. It's no longer an active train bridge. Trains haven't run on this bridge for decades, I'm being told. An expensive lesson by one out of town tonight. That's the scene on the Detroit-Dearborn border. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.